So Express LRS is a rapidly growing and evolving system and a lot of manufacturers are entering the ring and trying to make better and better products for the Express LRS system. The latest one to enter is Beta FPV and they've introduced the light rated to SE with the Express LRS module. So you're probably wondering, this is not a new product. Well, it kind of is and it kind of isn't. This radar has been out for a few months now. It's a pretty cool radar for entry level pilots. It's good for small nanos and it is a good controller for practicing on the simulator. So it has that going for it. All right, so before we open this up, let's take a look at the box. Pretty simple, very similar to the Light 2 SE radar box. The only difference here you can see right here, it says 2.4G radar transmitter. So this one does have the 2.4 gigahertz uh, module in here. Pretty straightforward on the back here, it does say left stick throttle. So this is a mode two transmitter, uh, Express LRS 2.4 gigahertz and some features right here, USB charging support, USB firmware update, firmware update supported 2.4 gigahertz. So this is an a updated box, obviously. Simulator supported a thousand milliamp hour battery, which is built in a high sensitive antenna. Anyways, let's open this up and see what's inside. All right, open the box here. You have your manual here and it is specific. Is it specific? It just says Radio 2 SD radio transmitter. All right, so that's your manual. Let's put it to the side right here. And here is your controller. Let's pull this out. And you have this nice white controller. Nothing else in here, just a card on here to scan to get more information on their social media sites. All right. So here's the controller here, pretty nice, very white. It does look like a premium product because of the white color, very high class, but they might get dirty with this plain white color here. Having said that, this thing is really nice to the touch. You have this rubberized material on the side here and it is pretty nice looking. You have these nice gimbals here and you have these, looks like aluminum, I think thumbsticks here, which is really good. Um, in the front here, you have this one power button here and that's to power on the transmitter. It's also an LED indicator to indicate this mode or the status of this, the battery status, or if you're using it as a joystick or as a radio controller. Besides that, you have a USB charging port here, which is good to charge the internal battery. And it's also used for interfacing with the computer for a flight simulator. You also have a body box system here which is good. And you have your switches here, uh, SA through SD, and this is a two position, this is a three position, three position and two position over here. So that's pretty standard, like any other controller. In the back here, you have a setup and the bind button. And we'll talk about that here very shortly once we set this up and bind this to a receiver. On the back here, you have a door here for battery. This doesn't really do anything right now. There's just some screws back here. Uh, the original version had a battery right here, but the battery on this one is internal, so it doesn't show any battery. But it does say internal RF Express LRS 2.4 gigahertz, which is pretty cool. It says beta configurator supported, and we will be using that in just a few minutes. And that's it. This thing is pretty light, guys. Um, even with this 1000 milliamp hour battery in here, this thing is fairly light, guys. So we'll see how this works. We'll. Uh, pair this up to receiver and yeah guys let's uh let's try this out so we're gonna go to the computer here go on the beta fpv configurator configure this thing and then bind it to receiver and see how well this thing here works 